So you want to be hip little girls. You want to learn to swing. And you want to be able to dig and take in everything. Yes, dig everything, as poet Allen Ginsberg said. Now dig me, pretty babies. I'd like, first of all, for you to get rid of that umbilical cord that your drag-ass prejudiced parents have around your neck. You don't need them to lay their antique Anglo-Saxon puritanical philosophy on you now. No, pretty chick. You're too slick to have eyes for their late, ungrate, sick scene. But love them for bringing you here. All you need now is you, real you, and people that are hip enough to dig what's happening. So, if your neighborhood ain't hip, split. Leave it. Leave it for swinging surroundings. I want you chicks to be real hip. I want you babes to learn the truth. I want you chicklets to get up off your lovely behinds and participate in creative activity. I want you to find yourselves by doing. I want you to live it up. Action, jazz action. If you want to be hip, dig this sermon. If you want to be a beautiful, non-square angel, sleep with everybody, but don't make it with nobody but Santa Claus, JC, and other bearded cats you dig. Not very many guys had beards in those days. Please don't ball pretty big without a diagram or a condom or a diaphragm for whatever you want to do. You don't want a nine month blues, do you? They didn't have pills in those days. If you want to be a swinger, drink and get high, but be cool about it. If you want to be popular with real hipsters, this is machoism, don't talk so much, don't talk so much, don't talk so much, don't talk so much, and please don't ever argue. If you wish to be a sweet child of godlike intelligence, dig jazz, support its musicians, go to all jazz concerts, buy or cop Dixieland as well as Bop, ball to the music of Jelly Roll Morton at least once in your life like your granddads did with my grandmothers. Dance to rhythm and blues, but sit down and listen to jazz. If you want to be hip, my cute young lovely hens, then you must own a copy of Howl. You must have a copy of Jack on the word Kerouac on the road Kerouac, on your show, and know thyself by reading Norman Mailer's White Negro. You should read all the French Dada and Cerritos literature, and dig Whitman and Poe, and all the great classics so that you too will be in the know. You should dig mad comics, and read the village voice so that you too will be au courant. You must visit all the museums in the city, and dig every zoo in the vicinity. You must not let squares bug you. You must not let squares bug you. You must have missionary eyes for them because they know not what they do. You must help free the people behind our cotton curtain as well as those unfortunate behind the iron one. You must not live in Greenwich Village. You must not live in Greenwich Village and pay high ass rent to greedy landlords. You should either take in 100 roommates or split to the East Village. You should wear lipstick for only one reason, kissing. You should never wear a phony brassiere. Don't fake it. You must not ever commit adultery and get caught. Dig food. Dig food. You must eat as much as your belly can hold. You should dig all the old movies. You should dig all the old movies and applaud in the wrong places in the new ones. Confuse Hollywood. You should wear blue jeans and shorts as articles of clothing, but not as a badge of courage. You must keep your openings and clothes and clean and never lay the clap on any cat chap, not even a square. You should learn to kiss cats hello as well as goodbye with your noisy pretty mouths wide open. You should go to all swinging parties alone, then you can dance like mad with everybody. You should sit in the coffee houses and beer bars of Greenwich Village and spend some money and spend some money on the far-eyed cats of the fine arts. You should walk around home nude more often. Dig yourself in a full view mirror. See the truth. There shouldn't be anything to be ashamed of in that mirror except old-fashioned virginity. You must not sit around and wait. You must not sit around and wait for that mythological right guy to come along. No, pretty baby. You should read Gregory Carso's poem, Marriage, before ever doing that bit. You may not fit. You should dig the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, and even Oriental Zen. Read it all, but only have eyes for that which you need. Don't get hung up like your parents. Don't get hung up like your parents. Let me go again. You should dig your parents. You should learn everything you can in school, then come out and use it against them. You should visit your psychiatrist as often as you visit your dentist. Once a year, starve those meddling bastards. You should love your life out. You should love your life out. You should love your life out and live by loving every minute in it. You must learn to say one important word more often. Yes, yes, yes. So, if you want to be hip, and you do want to be able to swing, and you do want to be able to dig and take in everything, and be, and be, and avoid being a square, and be an in chick with an out crowd, and be cool, and never allow, then dig the sermon. My sermon, pretty babies, pick up on what I've just willed, but don't flip your wig while doing so. But be hip, be happy, be cool, be brave, behave, and be mine, for I dig you all, you sweet angelic chicklets, 
chicks, and you too, you lovely old rich hens. Amen.